Little Witch in the Woods has some updates. The Sunny Side Up team has been working hard over the past several months to fix some issues in the game and provide some new content, and they have released a beta version of the game way back in October. Sorry guys. I'll just be hitting the highlights of the October 25th, 2022 patch notes, but I will link it below in the description in the event you'd like to read it in its entirety. In order to access the beta version of the game, first you go to your Steam library, then select the game, right click, go to properties, then select betas, and then beta, enjoy beta features. There is no code, so don't worry about that part. However, the progress that you make in beta will not transfer to the final game. So consider it more of a sneak peek or a demo. You can also revert back to the original game after trying the beta, um, but there's also some information on the patch notes on how to handle issues with save files that may arise. So please check those out if you have some trouble switching from beta to original. The team has added the ability to load a save or even select chapters. So you can start the beta from the beginning or from wherever you last left off. However, when I started from the last chapter, as you can see, a lot of the creatures and the plant life that I found previously aren't here anymore. And I even lost items that I had in storage. So it is possible that you could lose some progress if you play the beta mode. So be warned. This may be due in part to the updated encyclopedia in which they have added additional information and challenges such as the research project. According to the patch notes, a research project system has been added and benefits can be earned based on achievement. The book page has also been reorganized and creatures of special shapes different from those of existing creatures will appear. For example, I initially logged the silver star bell in the daytime, but then I went back and I logged it again at nighttime and it gave me a second picture and also some additional information appeared. And there is another edit quest and you can also enter the temple that's in the village that was previously closed off, but I won't show that here in case you want to explore and move forward with the quest on your own. You can also now enter the home of Kyla and Roy and they are making changes in the schedules of the NPCs. Other added features include new gathering tools which are pickaxes for stones as well as a shovel for dirt. They have more brooms and broom storage. There is an expansion of the witch's home as well as a new incubator tool that will be available after completing the proper quests. And there are several other adjustments to the look and feel of the game, which you can read for yourself in the patch notes. If you want some help deciding whether you like to buy the game or not, here is a review of Little Witch in the Woods right here.